Good morning and welcome to Beginning the Day with God, Coming and Going, on Tuesday the 19th of December. We are now in the season of Advent, a time when we as Christians think of Jesus coming, and his presence and encouragement is what gets us going. A world that was paralysed with fear and anxiety before he came found freedom of heart and freedom of action through his presence and encouragement, and that freedom is with us still. Our opening music today was Laetentia Chedi by William Byrd. Our opening prayer. God, our Father, shimmering in the darkness of winter, we approach you today with your light in our hearts. We wait for you. We watch for you just as the watchmen await the first signs of morning. Walk with us throughout this Advent season and light our feet as we walk towards the birth of the light of the world. Amen. Amen. God of truth, for you we wait. God of justice, for you we wait. God of loving kindness, for you we wait. We wait. We know that you are always near. Our readings and reflections today take the theme of Good Shepherd. Our first reading is from the second chapter of St. Matthew's Gospel, The Shepherd Who Is Coming. When Herod the king heard this, he was frightened and all Jerusalem with him. And calling together all the chief priests and scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Messiah was to be born. They told him, in Bethlehem of Judea, for so it has been written by the prophet. And you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah, for from you shall come a ruler who is to shepherd my people, Israel. Our second reading is from Ezekiel chapter 34. One shepherd. I will set up over them one shepherd, my servant David, and he shall feed them. He shall feed them and be their shepherd, and I, the Lord, will be their God, and my servant David shall be a prince among them. I, the Lord, have spoken. Our next reading is entitled Good News to Shepherds First and it comes from the second chapter of St. Luke. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place that the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in a manger. When they saw this, they made known what had been told them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured these words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, as it had been told them. Thanks be to God. And now, this morning's reflection. Yesterday, 
we were reflecting on Jesus as the prophesied king. Today, we can pray to him as the prophesied shepherd. The two notions are closely linked. We can see in today's Bible quotations that a king was also the shepherd of his people. A good king would know how to keep his flock together and well and healthy. Ezekiel gives a picture of God as shepherd, dismayed that the religious rulers of his nation were all out for themselves, feeding themselves and neglecting the people, the sheep of the flock. So God was going to take the people away from these rulers and shepherd them himself. God would look for the lost ones, bandage the wounded, bring back the stray, strengthen the weak. Surprisingly, the prophet says God will all do this, will do this through the servant, his servant David, who would be their prince. Surprising indeed, since King David had been dead and gone for 400 years, Ezekiel must surely have been thinking of the promised descendant of David, who would be everlasting king and shepherd as well. When we remember the adult Jesus saying, I am the good shepherd, we can see the authority with which he takes control of God's flock, God's people. Jesus looks for the lost, bandages the wounded, brings back the stray and strengthens the weak. He has no time for the ruthless religious rulers who would write off the king, who would write off the lost, the stray, the wounded and the weak. He gives the rulers every chance to understand God's real ways. But when they dig in their heels and kill him, the risen Jesus takes his message to the whole wide world. It always, was always God's intention to redeem the whole world and in the wonders of providence, the promises have triumphed over all resistance. Another link between king and shepherd is present in the directions given to the wise men looking for the newborn king. Not having a satnav or a star any longer, they go to Jerusalem, the obvious place to start, and they inquire. They are told in a prophecy from Micah that Bethlehem is the place to go. Bethlehem was the hometown of King David. David, who was taken from his job minding his father's sheep to become king and shepherd of Israel for the next 40 years. Who were the very first people to be informed that the Messiah, the longed-for Christ, had arrived on earth? Not King Herod, not the high priest or the Sanhedrin, not the Roman governor or the emperor of Rome, but Mary and Joseph and the shepherds from the hillsides round about. In one sense, the shepherds knew before Mary and Joseph must have been a wonderful confirmation of what the pair knew in their heart of hearts. When in came these poor ragtag shepherds saying what they had heard from a band of angels. Like a shepherd, <clears throat> he feeds his flock and gathers the lamb in his arms, holding them carefully close to his heart, leading them home. Say to the cities of Judah, prepare the way of the Lord, Go to the mountain top, raise your voice, Jerusalem, for here is your God. I myself will shepherd them, for others have led them astray. Care for the lost ones and heal their wounds, and pasture them, giving them rest. Come unto me if you are heavily burdened, 
and take my yoke upon your shoulders, I will give you rest. Like a shepherd, he feeds his flock and gathers the lambs in his arms, holding them carefully close to his heart and leading them home. Amen. Believing in the promises of God, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our, our Father, who, who art, art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We will watch and we will wait with the poor and the oppressed, with all who yearn for justice. We will watch and we will wait with the sick and the dying, with all who long for healing. We will watch and we will wait with the lost and those in darkness, with all who hope for freedom. Keep us, O Lord, while we tarry on this earth, in a serious seeking after you, and in an affectionate walking with you, every day of our lives, that when you come we may be found not hiding our talent, nor serving the flesh, nor yet asleep with our lamp unfurnished, but waiting and longing for our Lord, our glorious God, for ever. Amen. Amen. 